This is the Igneous Calzil, RuneScape's all-new best insult rangecape you can obtain for the small price of killing Zuck without dying. Now, while being a straight-up upgrade in stats, it doesn't seem like the special passive is all that exciting for an endgame PVMer. In this video, I'll explain why, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Igneous Calzil provides the player with 57.7 armor bonus, 2 prayer bonus, and 43 ranged bonus. The cape's special passive boosts Deadshot's initial ability damage, and it increases the amount of bleeds by an additional 2 hits all while reducing Deadshot's adrenaline cost to 60%. This adrenaline cost can be reduced even further by an additional 20% by using both the Ring of Vigor and the Conservation of Energy Relic Power. The damage increase of this cape's passive means Deadshot is suddenly much more usable and far stronger than many other special attacks. The cape on its own boosts Deadshot's damage on average by about 45.7% given that every single hit actually goes in before the boss dies, which is most definitely a huge buff. If we compare the new boosted Deadshot to the Darkbow Essence of Finality spec, we can see that it's also about 26.75% stronger than the special attack on average. This is however a comparison on paper, as there are many other relevant variables to properly compare these two powerful ranged abilities, even though one is technically a special attack. For one, you should consider that Deadshot is a bleed attack, which means it cannot be boosted by curses, death swiftness, most invention perks, and it cannot crit either. However, the EOF Darkbow spec can be boosted by many things, including death swiftness for that sweet 50% extra damage, leveling the playing field, and making the EOF Darkbow inside of death swiftness about 18% stronger. This isn't accounting for anything else, just simply using death swiftness. A massive downside to Deadshot in group PVM is that other players can clear your bleeds by using their own, meaning Deadshot is better used in solo PVM in general. Two very important things Deadshot does have going for it though is one, the spec can be used in combination with the Conservation of Energy Relic because it's an ultimate ability to reduce the adrenaline cost by a further 10%, something the Darkbow spec cannot do. And two, it's extremely effective in combination with the Eldritch Crossbow spec known as Split Soul, as more frequent hits means more ECB hits. Does this mean you have to use one over the other? Of course not. Not especially since you can spam the Darkbow spec while Deadshot has a dreadfully long 30 second cooldown. Deadshot simply becomes a substitute or adrenaline dump after you've done the majority of whatever your ranged rotation consists of and your death swiftness is gone. Hydex for Criminal Bolts E and Greater Ricochet are definitely the MVP here when using Deadshot after your death swiftness rotation because without them it's much harder to have high adrenaline quickly. Now you just heard me throw around endgame PVM stuff so why do I think this cape is so good for players that aren't in the end game yet. Well, that's because those players likely do not yet have access to stuff like the ECB, an essence of finality, and many other expensive unlocks that greatly increase your damage output. This means for players that don't yet have those items, this upgrade or this cape is far more impactful and is quite literally one of the best unlocks you could obtain as an entry high level player because you simply have less items or things in your rotation. Assuming you're using a planted feet switch, a ring of vigor, and a replenishment potion or adrenaline potion, your rotation would look something like this. Snapshot, then rapid fire, then shadow tendrils, then bombardment, then snapshot again once it gets off cooldown, a second rapid fire, and around there, your death swiftness should end if you're using a planted feet switch. You would then build up to 50 or 60% adrenaline and then use dead shot. If you aren't using a planted feet switch, your death swiftness is 7.8 seconds shorter, which means you won't be able to get off that second rapid fire threshold. Instead, after using your second snapshot, you would start building to 50 or 60% if you aren't using a ring of vigor to use dead shot after death swiftness ends, which will only last 30 seconds if you aren't using that planted feet switch. This rotation will work well given that you're killing a boss of a decent amount of health because if they have too low health, you probably won't even be able to get off your dead shot before it dies. This new more powerful dead shot is also incredibly effective at Nex, arguably one of the most popular solo bosses for GP game. Not only could you potentially use it on the minions if you don't have rapid fire or blades ready to go, but it also works incredibly well on the final phase, aka the Zaros phase, as Nex has a soft damage cap of 2000 meaning using any high-hitting abilities or special attacks is a waste of your time. 
During this phase, you must maximize your damage by using bleeds and rapid hitting attacks. And that's exactly why Deadshot just became even better for Nex. Just be sure to remember to never use it during the blood phase because it is, after all, a bleed and it will heal Nex. Now, don't get me wrong, this cape requires some serious gear and experience to obtain, but you can absolutely get this cape without billions of GP in gear. Because remember, you don't need a flawless Zuck kill for the cape upgrade, just a kill without dying. The hardest part is of course the final boss, but if you have enough food, I'm sure you can get through it if you're already able to do bosses like Elite Dungeons, High Enrage Araxor, High Enrage Glacor or Glacor, and so on. If you're having some issues getting the cape, I highly suggest using my guide, link in the description below. Now when you do get this cape, you'll have access to a very strong finisher ultimate ability every time you finish your Death Swiftness rotation. And it's well worth unlocking the cape for that exact reason. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.